Oh, yeah, I think so. Obviously, you, you know, to have happened to us both half backs is a it's it's hard for any team to um, to completely change your, your half back pairing, especially you put an 18 year old uh, kid out there, and then um, then we uh, had to shuffle around and put Tom Holmes out there as well. Uh, I just thought it was I thought half, that first half was one of the most controlled performances that we've had all year, regardless of, of who was playing. Um, and obviously for for Jake Truman to do what he did, you know he looks comfortable. You just you can see it written all over him that he's got this level. Um, he, he's got this level mapped out. I think um, not too far down the track. You know he's a very good player. Got a lot of smart things about him. We're trying to get him to talk a little bit more, and, and that should give him a whole heap of confidence. Um, I thought defensively we were superb in the first half. Uh, we had a period in the second half where you're not quite sure what we were trying to achieve, but uh, I thought all along if we could win today, it'd be it'd be a huge, huge win for us. Um, and it was outstanding, I thought, an outstanding performance uh, for about 60 minutes. We had 20 minutes of madness in there, but it's pretty tough to keep a, a team like Wigan quiet for 80. Yeah, I, I thought our pack were great. Uh, I mean, if you look at it, there's uh, Alex Foster in there with 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 Mass, who are not the the biggest uh, of of prop forwards, but you know Foster's been an incredible signing for us. Just how tough he is in the contact area. Um, I thought our pack was outstanding in in the first half. I, th I thought everybody was to be honest. It was just a, an outstanding team performance, uh, and to be able to do that uh, says a lot about us. It says a lot about our depth. A lot about the the young kids that are coming through at, at the club and. Uh, yeah, huge, huge for us. Uh, yeah, we thought he was. I watched him play and thought he was tidy. Thought he had some some potential in there. Uh, and then he's he's a really un unassuming kid. You know, he's um, he, he's sort of you, you see him in practice. You don't hear him too much in practice, but you see some of the things that he can do. He's really he's got time. I'd say that's the thing I would say about him the most. He has time. He looks like it's easy, his, his pass weight is great and the way he fed the ball through from a kicking perspective today just showed a lot of maturity for a young fella so I, I was really pleased with, with what he was able to do and you know, it, it, clearly you'd be confident putting him out on the field you know, whatever the game because he's handled that um, with real assurance today. I, I told him earlier on in the week. Yeah, I, was, I wanted to give him as much time to, to get accustomed to it and you could see, uh, I said, mate, this is a chance for you and he said, um, what am I starting or off the bench? Um, and I think he was pretty nervous when I said, you'll be you'll be starting. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to give him as much time as, as possible and he's handled it pretty well. We've trained we've trained well um, with those two at, at half-back and, and Holmes has done well as well and I, I thought Holmes did a good job when he came on too. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think obviously uh, Paul McShane being in the halves, he's such a, a smart rugby league player. Um, whichever position he was, he was going to play in, um, and he's, he's played half back for us a, a few times. If I was to ask him to do it every week, I don't think he'd be too keen. But I, I think he, get, he gets excited by the odd um, soiree into half back, and um, and he handled it great again today. Yeah, I think he's all right. Uh, like I say, he took he took a whack and. Um, you know, it was wise to to get him off. He was he was struggling getting getting about the field. Um, obviously, it was a pretty physical game, and and I, I'm not sure he's played that minutes uh, on on the spin that many minutes. He's been playing more more at, at prop, and uh, and for him uh, to go in at nine, he's hardly played there all year. I thought he did a, he did an outstanding job in there. Uh, yeah, Benny should should be okay. I mean, obviously we'll check on him as, as we go through the week. This was um, obviously what's happened to Luke Gale. Um, we needed we needed to look after Benny, um, and he, he should be okay. But obviously we'll we'll check and see how he is. But, well, anybody who might have some kind of uh, knock, so Milner might be a, an option. Um, I'll I'll check on that. I'd, I'd think he'd, he'd want to play. Um, our boys want to play, to be honest, um, and it, I'll, I'll get a check on everybody and see. I'll make a decision based on on how they're feeling. It's a short each turnaround, which which is is tough. We're not going to do an awful lot of training this week, but um, you know the the things that are embedded in us uh, are embedded in us by now, and um, we, we'll train on Thursday, and then we we'll look forward to to a real challenge against us.